hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate your support we do not take it for granted i will pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes my people as always are back again with latest and most authentic happiness in the country. Politicians have infiltrated Yoruba nation's struggle. Iba Gani Adams. We know um, two days ago, um, Southwest leaders came up, um, declared their position on um, the Odudua agitation, that they are not in support. They are fighting for one Nigeria, United Nigeria. We know very well that it's all because of um, their political interests, personal interests. That is why they are speaking in that light, because they cannot say they, they, they are not seeing the injustice and the wickedness that is being served on um, other parts of the country by Buhari's administration and um, his Fulani counterpart. They are real on Akanka for of Yoruba land. We know um, he's in support of um, Odudua nation. He has spoken that um, politicians have infiltrated the nation's struggle. That is the Odudua um, Republic. Politics is being played with everything right now. You know, let's not um, forget that um, it was also a couple of days ago that um, Primate Adele, we know that prophet that prophesied regarding happiness in the country. He stated that um, these Southwest governors, uh, they are going to betray, they are going to betray um, Southwest. And we're already seeing that playing out. Well, uh, we have all of the details what um, Aaron Akanka for of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams have stated. We'll bring that in a bit, but please, guys, before we do, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The array on Akankafu of Yoruba land, Ibagani Adams, yesterday disclosed that prominent politicians in the Southwest have infiltrated the struggle for the actualization of the Yoruba nation. Array Adams, who said the struggle for actualization of Odua Republic is a legitimate right of all Yoruba sons and daughters expressed concern that the struggle had been hijacked by top politicians in the Southwest. Speaking at a weekly Odudua People's Congress stakeholders meeting held at the Odudua House in Ikeja, Lagos, he accused some prominent politicians who he described as betrayers of the Yoruba cause for true liberation. He said, it is unfortunate that some people are determined to weaken the spirit of the agitators. Unfolding events in the last few weeks have shown that some prominent politicians have hijacked the struggle for the actualization of Odudua Republic. It is an attempt to distract us from the true and original intention of the struggle. But I won't say it here that the struggle to seek a new nation is the legitimate right that we are determined to live and die for and we wouldn't waver in our beliefs and determination to liberate our race. But in achieving this lofty dream, I can say it authoritatively that we must be conscious of three things. First, we must show enough diplomacy. Second, we must be conscious of how we generate our information and intelligence gathering. And I will surely keep the third to me. We should be diplomatic enough while addressing issues. We should work on the way we gather our intelligent reports and we must be consistent in our quest for total freedom. As the area on Akankafu of Yoruba land, I have put in close to three decades experience in the struggle and I know what it takes to win a struggle of this nature. So, for those who had been infiltrating the struggle, I will curse them for seven days and if they fail to heed the warnings, I think they would have themselves to blame. The whole thing is targeted at soiling my name and that of our other monarchs in Yoruba land. But I want to say here that nothing good will come out if they attempt to soil my name. Iba Adams, however, cursed those instigating crisis in Yoruba land, especially within the ranks of Odua Republic agitators, saying the cursing process will be done daily for seven days. He said, I'll continue to curse them repeatedly for seven days because... They deserve nothing but the wrath of God and death of Yoruba ancestors. This one is something really, really serious. The direction that um, he's speaking from is a direction of pain. It's so painful that um, even Yoruba leaders, 
that um, um, the indigenous are looking up to, that they will be the ones championing this cause. They are the ones that have isolated the people. What is the reason for even calling for this Oduduwa nation? Is because of the marginalization, because of the injustice, the wickedness, the um, all of the things that um, northerners have been doing, the insecurity in the country, bad governors, a lot led uh, led them to this point. You can imagine even the Fulani headsmen that have been attacking and killing people up to now. That has not been resolved. We know that um, South southern governors um held a meeting and they concluded that they've um, placed a ban on an open grazing but we know that um they, they will play they will still play politics with that one there's nothing they don't play politics with personal interest by the time they uh they set before them a kind of trap they they seduce them with a a position or something you see them start um, uh, um turning around and start watering it down that that was not what we actually meant this is what we meant and all of that is so painful Arel um, has spoken that the plans of all of these people that is just to soil his name and then um, the names of those who are championing this cause we know sunday Igboho is at the forefront as well and then um, he has he he he, play, he made um two important uh, uh remark here. One is that um he stated that um the the Yoruba people is like they they give out too many information that he's feeling that that is one of um the reasons um they are having all of this setback, all of these issues. Even um there was a time um that it was stated and northerners are even planning their breakaway as well. But the difference between the south. And the north is that the northerners they keep everything to themselves they don't speak out they don't share everything in the open that the problems of our uh, um, um yoruba the west that they are all they are every, everything is in the open everything is outside all of their strategy that is why they are having this challenge to the point that um, even governors leaders have uh, isolated them Ibaga adams is stating right now clearly he's stating it confidently that these politicians have actually inf infiltrated this um the robust um, nation struggle so at the start they posed as though they were together that yes we did what we are going I gathered all the information all of their strategy and everything now um they are standing against them and he's stating that um, he's going to curse those of them for seven days consecutively that one is a strong one a tough one I don't know if he's speaking from the position as the area on Akankafu of Yoruba and we know the position he occupies. That seven days he's going to curse them. We know Professor Banji also stated that Tinubu will regret it. Tinubu and the other Southwest leaders that they will regret this action. This is Ghani Adam speaking um, after the Southwest um, leaders took that um, position. Well, let's hear your own thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.